Thanks so much. We are leading the way on some breaking news right now. It's going to be verdict watch soon out in Pike County. That's right. A short time ago, the jury in the trial of George Wagner IV was given the case after hours of closing arguments and instructions from the judge today. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson has been covering this trial. She's live for us in Waverly. And Karen, will the jury actually begin deliberating tonight or tomorrow? Yeah, they will not tonight. Actually, Mike, jurors just left the courthouse. They'll return tomorrow morning to begin deliberations at 830 in the morning. After lengthy jury instructions, Judge Randy Deering gave them the option, asked, do you want to stay tonight and begin deliberating tonight or come back tomorrow? And they agreed it would be best to start fresh in the morning. He's guilty. Prosecutors spent the last two and a half months trying to prove George Wagner IV is guilty of murdering eight members of the Roden family in April 2016. A verdict Andy Wilson reminded jurors they can reach even if they don't believe Wagner pulled the trigger. If you're firmly convinced that he aided, abetted, assisted his family in these crimes, participated in these crimes, then he's guilty. During closing arguments, defense attorneys again tried distancing George from his brother Jake and mother Angela. Both already pleaded guilty in this case. Jake and Angela have destroyed this man's life. They testified against George. They're liars. They're con artists. They're thieves. Defense attorney John Parker says Jake and Angela took the stand solely for their own benefit and asked jurors to revisit their testimony. What about Jake when he was up here laughing and smiling and smirking as he's talking about these murders? He's cold blooded. I think he's psychotic. Parker added, Angela's not any better. She sold her testimony. She's a con artist. She's a liar. And she pulled another one because nothing she said about George can be verified. Nothing. Their statements and their testimony show that everybody in the family was acting under the same collective intent and that everybody participated in the murders and that everybody is guilty. And again, the jury just got the case. They will begin deliberations at 830 tomorrow morning. They have 22 counts to consider, including eight counts of aggravated murder and guys, two and a half a month's worth of testimony. No telling how long deliberations will take. Reporting live in Pike County tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen.